Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the awesomeness that is Neo Geo. Right now I'm doing a test setup with Final Burn Alpha 2012 and I am currently running Metal Slug 5, an incredible shmup game. If you've ever played In the Hunt, a great underwater Irem shmup classic, some of the key development team members went on to make the original Metal Slug game. I mean, it definitely shows in the awesome artistic work of the original In the Hunt game. But I'm testing this out real quick. After I do a little uh, two test, then I'll move on to the tutorial portion on the PC. Per normal. Holds up extremely well. Running awesome. Okay, everything's great here. Metal Slug 5 is running awesome. So I'm going to move on to my second test example with MAME 2003. Then I'm going to show you on the PC front the tutorial on how to handle the Neo Geo BIOSes from this point forward once I do my next update. So we're going to load a test MAME 2003 Neo Geo game now. We'll load uh, Ninja Commando, a truly underrated gem of a uh, Neo Geo classic. I mean, everybody knows about Metal Slug, everybody knows about King of Fighters, and nearly everyone knows about Samurai Showdown, but you mentioned Ninja Commando, They'll say, what? What's that on? I mean, it really is a great game, though. I've been through the entire catalog of Neo Geo games time and time again over the last 20 years, and I love each and every one of them for what they're worth. I never had the privilege of owning a real Neo Geo due to obvious price reasons. I can never really afford it. So the, the Neo Geo Mini that's coming out in the near future is going to be really, really cool to check out. But we're loading this test example with MAME 2003, and we have the bio splash screen, so we're good to go. But underrated gem of a classic, Ninja Commando. Running great. And I'm going to switch over to the PC for the tutorial portion now. So bear with me for a moment here. Okay, we're on the PC front now. And I'm going to show you the way that we used to run Neo Geo BIOS. I'm going to go to the drive that I'm running them on into my games folder. And I'm going to search for Metal Slug uh, 5, which was what I was just running. And I'll show you two different ways that you could technic uh, technically set a BIOS to run with it. But I'm searching my games for Metal Slug 5. And I'm going to go into that folder. One, you could have a direct copy of the Neo Geo BioZip in there. If you look right here, it is actually zero kilobytes. There's a very specific reason for this with the code and change. This is not a true Neo Geo BIOS. It is actually a dummy, a ghost BIOS image, just to basically replicate the true BIOS from a different location. But I'll explain that in a moment here. But one thing you could do is literally just take the Final Burn Alpha BIOS, which I was running it with, copy and paste them right to this directory it, it will use them within that directory and this works exceptionally well on NAND but when you get into FAT32 and NTFS you have to do a little bit of a coding change so that these do not get deleted when they try to run yes they could actually get deleted on FAT32 due to uh, read write issues but yes you can just copy directly there another thing you can do is go into final you know into the Metal Slug 5 I'm going to just open it up with 7-zip, and I would have that right there, all the files. I would open up Neo Geo Zip, and I could effectively drag and drop these and merge them all into one singular zip, and they will work. But we're going to do something very, very different today. With the code and change, there are uh, three different ways that you could handle the BIOS, and I'm going to show you this. One, you could just uh, take the BIOS directly like this. Say I just want to run only Final Burn Alpha. I'm going to go into the core set. And I'll go into uh, the CE right here. User mods. And I have this advanced master BIOS module here. Master BIOS module right here. I will go into etc. Libretto. 
system and I would just directly copy this BIOS right into there. And I would install this as an HMOD and then it would copy over to my system or USB and I'd be able to run Metal Slug 5 via Final Burn Alpha 2012 without issue. But say for instance I would like to run Main 2003 as well, we're going to have a slight complication because they use two different BIOSes with the same name. Now I'll show you what I mean here. Here are the main 2003 BIOS. So if I try to copy this over to the same directory, there's a, a size difference there. They're not the same at all. They're very, very different. So the code and change is effectively this. What I would do is take the main 2003 one and name it to Neo Geo underscore old. So this would reflect upon the fact that it is an older Neo Geo BIOS and I would copy it into this directory. So the co what effectively the code changes is you could use one Neo Geo BIOS for either main 2003 or Final Burn Alpha 2012 and the code will read it appropriately. But if you want to use a dual BIOS setup where you use the old main 2003 BIOS you'd have to name it to Neo Geo underscore old zip and just copy the Final Burn Alpha 1 directly. And install it as an HMOD and you'll be able to run MAME 2003 with this and MAME 2010, MAME 2014, Final Burn Alpha 2012 and Final Burn Alpha 2016 using this one. But guess what guys and gals, there's a third way of doing this. And I'm going to show you the third way of doing it which is incredibly awesome. So bear with me here. I'm going to make another folder here. We're going to call it Merged. I'm going to actually merge these together into one singular BIOS, which is incredibly awesome here. So I'm going to go into the folder. And you'll be able to run it all three different ways, and you can feel free to ask me any questions whatsoever if you have any misunderstanding of how to actually do this. I'm going to go into the main 2003 one here. I'm going to go into the Merged one here. I'm simply going to... Uh, Open this archive and I'm going to drag all of these, uh, each and every one of these, right into this folder. And I'm just simply going to rename them one by one to uh, 01, 02, 1, right down the line, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 0, 1 through 10. And then what I would do is uh, take the other files from the Final Bird Alpha one. And I would do the exact same thing. I would name these files from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, all the way until I'm at the very, very end. And when I'm completely done, which is my done file here, effectively inside the Neo Geo zip will be both sets of old and new Neo Geo BIOS files. And they'll all be named from 01 all the way to 34 or 35 depending on how you set it up. I also added the Unibios on top of that. So I have old Neo Geo, new Neo Geo, and the Unibios in addition to that. So what this effectively does is that even though the file names are not present, it's going to go for the CRC file names and it'll search for the CRC of the files themselves rather than the names. So it could use any of the files despite them all being present in the same directory. This is incredibly awesome. And I think Grant2285 for offering this magic trick up as an option. Incredibly awesome. And I think uh, many other key MAME2003 members, which I'm going to list in the README, the release notes, as well as the video description notes here. And of course, BS Leno, Dan the Man A27, and Mad Monkey on our team as far as getting all this done. But everything's awesome. And this will go in the next update here. But when you're done with the merge file here, which I'm uh, going to show you real quick, I would simply take the merge file and copy it into system. So instead of having uh, one for MAME 2003, or one for Final Burn Alpha 2012, or Neo Geo Ode for MAME 2003, and Neo Geo Zip for Final Burn Alpha 2012, MAME 2010, etc., I could have them merged into one single thing, and it takes less than five minutes to do, just by simply extracting the files and renaming them all from 01 all the way down the line until you're done naming them. And you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that's how things are going to be from this point forward. You can run one singular Neo Geo BIOS for each system. 
or you can run dual BIOS for more than one system, or you can run singular for all systems. You have three ways of doing it, and they will no longer get deleted from your flash drive like they used to once we started doing USB host. Everything's in place, and everything's tested out exceptionally well. So give me your feedback, and we'll make adjustments accordingly, depending on how feedback occurs. And for right now, I'm very, very happy with the test results, and I've had no problem running them all three different ways. So Neo Geo Gaming, here we come.